Hey guys, how's it going? It's Spitfire. Um, today I got something cool. I found myself a South Bend Heavy 10, another one. Um, this one I'm going to keep and I'm going to get it sent off and get it fixed up here a little bit and, and uh, there will be a lot more to come on this guy. However, um, I'm going to show, um, there's instructions on these guys usually on how to take these, bear, these bearing caps off. Uh, this is a 10 inch lathe and I think uh, other ones may be similar but <clears throat> these thrust, there's thrust bearings in here and what there is is there's a brass cap under here that pulls up and spreads the cap out. So there's a procedure to take these off. So what we're going to do first is we're going to, there's plugs in there, so we're going to pull these plugs out. And then secondly, inside these holes are, let me get the right size screwdriver bit here, usually flathead, sometimes maybe Allen head um, screws. So we're just going to loosen those guys up all the way. And this has to be done this in this manner, otherwise you'll you have a potential to wreck your bearings. All right, <clears throat> so those are loose. And now the second part here, we're going to take our main bearing cap bolts off. And these are separate or uh, different lengths for some reason. Not quite sure why. But uh, my short one is in the back and I just set them down here. All right, so now this thing should theoretically come off. And there are pins holding these in place. So you can usually just tap on them a little bit. And uh, I think South Bend actually recommends you can find a, find a, a chunk of pipe or something that fits inside these and you can kind of wiggle them loose. But if you don't, got to kind of work side to side and pull up on it. I'm going to push these down to make sure that that, because this is a dovetailed uh, brass shim in there, so I just want to make sure that that's down all the way and make sure you're loose. And it's slowly coming off. So you want to take your time with these. You don't want to, there we go. You don't want to pry on these and be careful when you take them out because there's shims under there. And then another thing, you don't want to pry in here because these are all scraped and they're fit for this machine. So then make sure you don't lose your screws. And that cap only goes back on there one way. So then let me swing around to the side here. Sure, it might be shaky for a second, but. So if you can see right here, here's that brass dovetailed or bronze whatever it is the dovetailed part that fits into your cap there and that screws the screws go through there so you need to undo this you can't just pull this off otherwise it has the possibility to wreck it um, and then be sure you got shims here so make sure your shims stay in place or you you know use put the same ones on each side these shims are supposed to be equal on each side um, when you're shimming uh, that's a whole different story, but um, they're supposed to be equal. All right, set my camera back here. Sorry. All right, so the same thing is on the second one. Let me zoom out. You do the same thing on this guy. So you take caps off, take the screws out bearing cap screws and this should pop off. Uh, one more thing too is you do have to 
loosen your thrust or your lock bearing here, lock washer, whatever you call it. You gotta loosen that guy up too. So there you go. And then procedure putting it back on. Get your shims in, your cap back on, your two screws, and then um, no, you, you put the two you put the two screws in, but you don't tighten them. Take that back. You put your outside caps on, and then your two screws. You tighten these down, and then when you tighten these down, you need to tighten them down to see what your clearance is. Because if you just tighten these down and you don't tighten these down, this thing won't move. So you need to do these outside ones first. Once those are nice and snug, you do your inside screws and you snug them down and then this thing should spin, spin fairly freely. And then once you got that, you put your plugs in there and that's it. So there you go, there's uh, I think they call these BRG caps, I have no idea what that stands for. If somebody knows, please fill me in, comment below. Um, but yeah, that's a proper procedure to take these things off without wrecking them. So there you go, Till next time, stay safe on your machines. Um, be, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and check out all my other videos. i got tons of other videos on this stuff, so um, check it out. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.